Hey everyone, this is Laura with We Met Why I Work and More, and today I am going to show you how to make this super cute little bubble wand. We are going to use just a mish mash of beads. Now I checked in advance to make sure that the holes were large enough to fit over a doubled up piece of wire. We have got just our good old fashion pliers, good and sturdy, and our wire cutters. I use a pencil to help with a little bit of twisting. And then we have our wire, which is a 16 gauge galvanized steel. To start, we just double, double up our wire, meet the ends, and then just give it a light, a light squeeze like that, so that we've got this loop. We got wire on either side, and we just give this a slight bend. We want this to be fairly large because this is going to keep our beads from slipping off the end. So then we take our pencil, and this is just to make sure really so that we have a visual as to how large this actually is. So you could actually fit two pencils in the center of this, so this is good. Taking our pliers, and it doesn't matter that these have teeth. Um, I often suggest that we use the jewelry pliers that are non-scarring, but for this type of wire, it really makes no difference. So hanging on to our wire there, we are just going to give, give a few twists. And so we want this end piece here to be about two inches long. And then we're going to just pull those two wires together. Now we've got a bit of difference here as far as the length of the wire go, and that doesn't matter ultimately. So looking at our beads, we want to decide what it is that we are going to use. And I think I'm going to go with a gold first off. I'll pop that on there. And you know what? It slides all the way down to the bottom, so I don't think don't think we'll go with that one first off. I think we will go with one of these pearls. There we go. And that stops right here where we want it to. And then we can stick one of our gold ones on there. that on there like that and then I think we're going to take our smaller pink one and pop it on there like that okay so then we are going to continue to twist this sometimes it helps to just grab with your pliers it stabilizes it to give those couple of twists all right, then we're going to take our pencil again. We're going to pop it between those two wires and we're just going to bend them around the pencil. Just like that. And it forms this little loop and that helps stop the beads as well. A little bit of movement there is kind of nice, it's kind of pretty. And then we grab our pliers again and we give another, just another couple twists bringing our wires back together like this. We're going to take one of these great big pink ones and we're going to pop it on there. And this little loop has now stopped this bead from sliding down. Okay, so now we have come to this end here. I think we're done with those beads. So we need to decide what it is that we're going to do with the end to create the bubbles. And I kind of like the traditional loop and I think it's a good place to start when you first start making these. So what we're going to do is we're just going to grab that 
grab that last loop that we made and we're just going to continue to twist. Now we'll twist as close to the end of these wires as we can. And sometimes you just got to get in there with the pliers and finish off the job. Okay, it's given us this really great twisted, twisted wire. Now we're going to bend that sharply off to the side like that. And then we're going to just start to start to twist this. Start to curve it gently until we've got our little loop on the end. And straighten that out a bit. Okay, just like that. And then we just take our pliers and we try and manipulate this end piece so that it is curved. And we'll go around. Making those sure those ends are down because they can be rather sharp. Run your fingers over them as we do with so many of our projects. And we want to straighten this out so that all of our loops are facing the same direction, including this one at the bottom. And voila! There is your fancy schmancy little bubble wand. And once again, here's a couple more that we made. And it's a really great project to use up any odds and ends and beads that you only have one or two of. I want to thank you for supporting me, tuning in and checking out what I have going on. So please subscribe if you haven't already and click that bell to get those notifications. Give me the thumbs up and certainly leave me your comments. I really appreciate hearing from you guys. In the meantime, have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you soon.